Hi Aries, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your May 2021 tarot reading. We're going to look first into your general situation and then into love and into money matters. First of all, I'm going to take some Palo Santo wood and I'm going to set it on fire just to cleanse the air a little bit with the smoke. Spirit guides, please come here to guide our beautiful Aries people towards their highest possible spiritual path, please. We thank you in advance for all the answers we get and we would like them to come out in the most clear way possible, please. Thank you. So let's see. I want to shuffle the cards thoroughly. May 2021 please what's the general situation okay for the general situation we've got the Sun beautiful and the six of Pentacles very good what do we get please for the love and relationship section love and relationship for Aries please thank you six of wands do we get anything else for love and relationships please anything else yes We've got the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Now, what do we get for money and career for Aries, please? Woo! <laughs> Explosive card, the Two of Cups. Now, what else do we have? Money and career, please, for Aries. Thank you. The Five of Cups, the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords. All right, let's go into your reading. So Aries, here is your reading. In general, you have the Sun with the Six of Pentacles. These are very, very good cards because with the Sun, you have abundance, joy, bliss, a feeling of freedom, lightheartedness. Sometimes it can be a little naivety also. Then we have the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, a win-win situation, something which is good for you and also your partners who are working together with you here. So it could also be that somebody is giving or receiving help in the material form. If you need a car, maybe somebody will borrow you the car so that you can do whatever you need to do. If somebody else needs any kind of tool, you will hand them a tool so that they can do whatever they have to do. So this is a, a card which is definitely talking about a win-win and this is your general situation over the month of May. So that is very good, especially because you are so happy here with the sun. Um, for love, we've got first of all the six of wands. So maybe your love is somehow connected to your job and business uh, or you meet your next love through job and business because this is actually a card of victory and success where you're being seen by an audience. So there is somebody who is perceiving what you have made or done or said. For example, you write a book and people read it, they love it, they come to you for having an autograph signed in their book or you have, or maybe you're an influencer. So this could also mean that you have a lot of success online, maybe on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever it is for you. It could also be that you made an ex exhibition of your arts and people are running down the doors just to see your pictures or your artwork. So this is really good. Then you have the Knight of Swords. As I said, running, the next card was the Knight of Swords. You can't, people come either running to see your stuff or they come running to help you here, to give you something, to pay for seeing what you have. And <laughs> I think it sounds funny, but it is so. The people are actually running in your doors because they really wanna see what you got. So this is a very good card. Um, if it's not that, then the Knight of Swords can mean communication, that you're communicating a lot with other people, either online or in reality. And it could also mean that you're really, really determined it, because the reason why you have success is maybe because you were going on that way with determination. Then we have also the Ace of Cups. This is really interesting that you have that for your love section. 
With the Ace of Cups, you get new connections and you put in the seeds of future joy. These new connections that you communicate with are very important for your next steps towards your success. And maybe you also meet love because let's be honest, the Ace of Cups is a start, a new beginning. And if there is a new beginning with the cups, which are about emotions and your heart space, I mean, look how she's holding her heart chakra here really tender, really careful. So maybe you are ready for a new start in love and this would indicate it because it's an ace. The aces in tarot always mean a new start. So um, whatever it is here with your job, if you are looking out for a new love, maybe you meet that person at your job or while you're selling your crafts and goods, um, because that's what is indicated here. If you already have a partner, then I would say that your partner is here depicted in the Knight of Swords because this person is always running to help you. This is also the hero energy. It can be the energy of somebody who is a policeman, a firefighter, sometimes lawyers. These are people who are are very rushed to run and help. So maybe um, you have a person with you, a partner who is helping you and backing you up while you have this success, while you are standing in the limelight here. Now for your money and career, we first had the two of cups. So I, as I said, there is some collaboration maybe with a partner because this is another time, a, a connection between your emotions, which are the cups, and your money and career life, because otherwise this card wouldn't have fallen in the money and career section. So maybe you and your partner are not only partners as lovers, maybe you are even working together, yeah? Um, if it's not so, then I would say this card is just standing for you, working together and cooperating with other people. Um, we have the Five of Cups, sadly. The Five of Cups says that you are disappointed and disillusioned with something. Um, this could come because we had the sun before, and the sun is sometimes talking about naivety. So maybe you were getting in there with all your positivity and an open heart and shining your light and smiling at everybody, while other people were already planning how they can put you on a very slippery slope, yeah? So maybe you're a little bit disillusioned and you find out, okay, these people actually didn't mean well, so you have the Ten of Swords. You're just turning their back on them and saying, thank you, bye, I've seen it, I don't need such people in my life. You're walking away from any kind of backstabbers here. Plus, you have the Queen of Swords. This is about negotiations, um, either for negotiating new terms in your job where you've been disappointed, or it's about seeking the truth, who is actually behind all that backstabbing which you had there. Uh, definitely, this is a good... Um, a good card for any kind of negotiation. If you have a new job contract, please um, go there and talk to people because this is a card that's good for communications. Um, also, it can indicate that you are a writer because as I've said before here with the Six of Wands, uh, there is a lot of success with something that you're bringing forth. And as you have so many uh, Swords cards here, I would say that maybe you're in writing, some of you at least, yeah? So this is a wonderful reading. Let me get one more card for you from the Angel deck. Let's see what's there. Could you please tell me what's the most important advice for Aries in May 2021, please? Important advice for Aries, thank you. We've got the seven. This is a major arcana card. Uh, it says open up for success. So this is the chariot card. This is a very, very good sign that you're on your way towards success as we had here with the six of wands. You're gonna be in the limelight, you're gonna win. People are gonna applaud you and cheer to you. And with this card and together also with the knight, this is a very quick energy. Yeah, the chariot and the knight together are really, really quick. So this success is coming in really fast. Um, and this card says, I'm gonna translate because it's in German. Um, look at all the wonderful things that you can do when you listen to your higher self. Um, you have many different priorities and you balance them out really well, which is why you have so much success. Um, you will get very much um, publicity and also somebody will really talk well about what you did. Somebody will say how wonderful you are it, pu publicly. So actually somebody's maybe going to write a very good critique about your stuff in, in the newspaper or something like that. Um, it also says there is no reason for you to be shy or in any way 
um, fearful because you really got the power to shine. Um, let others uh, give you the thanks and the gratitude which you deserve. So this is one of the most positive cards in tarot. I can tell you this is amazing. Now let me see in the life purpose deck what this might be. As I said, you could be in writing, but I want to see if something else is coming out. Yeah, Maybe it's the writing, maybe it's something else. Let's see. Is there anything for Aries, please, concerning their life purpose, their job, career, money, life? What about their life purpose for Aries in May 2021, please? May 2021, Aries. There we go. We've got travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. Just look. So maybe, as I said, we have a laptop here on this picture. Maybe you are really in an online business. As I said before, you might be an influencer, something on social media, yeah? Maybe you're also in a, in a business where it's about traveling, yeah? So maybe you are something like a stewardess or someone who books uh, journeys for other people. It could be anything around travel, yeah? Some of you um, will be in that field. And obviously, this traveling is making you very, very successful. You're, you're not only gonna maybe meet your new love there, indicated with the Ace of Cups, but also you will have a lot of success. So this is a very, very positive tarot reading for me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for already more than 2,200 subscribers. I feel really honored. If you wanna subscribe, please don't forget to also click the little bell button on the side so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Apparently that's somehow important for YouTube. <laughs> please remember, I love you guys. You can do so much. You're capable of a lot of things. You don't even know how much you're capable of. Bye guys.